Hello, it's Steve with Desert Dwellers, and today um, we're going to do a little gun cleaning. Uh, we're going to start off with the 22s, but um, a few things first. Okay, next. It is extremely important, very important, to clear your firearms uh, when you are going to be cleaning them. As you can see, the magazine is in this one. You can see on this little close-up here. So the first thing you do when you have your firearm, you are going to remove that magazine from your firearm. You're going to verify it is empty. You are going to set it aside. If there's ammo in that magazine, be wary. Keep it farther, farther away from you. Next. Now, I always recommend never open your slide to check if it's empty if your if your magazine is in the gun because if your magazine is loaded and you pull it back, it may not have been empty. But now, when you let the slide go forward, it's going to be loaded. So very dangerous. So anyway, remove the magazine. Now this is your slide release right here. Now I'm going to use my thumb and I'm going to put forward upward pressure on it. Uh, basically, the same thing that an empty mag would do. So as I push here, I'm going to slide it back. And as you can see, it locks open. Now, here, you can see on the close-up, there's nothing in the magazine well, nothing in the chamber. This gun is now verified unloaded. It is now safe to clean, take apart and clean. Uh, if you read news stories much about this, and I've done it out, you know, read stuff all my life, uh, so many times you hear about people shooting themselves while cleaning their guns. That is inexcusable. You always, always, always make sure your weapon is clear of all ammo and have none around you while you're doing this. Okay, so now this. This is a 22. Looks like a 1911. This is my little Colt rail gun. Love this little thing. I put some LOK grips on it here recently. Love the look of them. Um, for the most part, it comes apart similar to a regular 45, but it is a little bit different. So, you do got a barrel bushing much like a 45. You're going to turn it one way and you're going to remove the spring cap. You're going to remove your spring just like a regular 45. You're going to rotate your bushing around the opposite way and it's going to lift out of the gun also. Um, we'll wipe those down but those really don't get that dirty. Um, it's just the way it is. Okay, next you have your slide release is also your takedown pin. So you're going to set it to a certain spot. Okay, get it all the way back. You got to work the barrel back to where the pin and the notch and the slide. You're going to work your pin out. Don't got the strongest fingers anymore. And if you can't, I'm going to get it up underneath there. Do it with a little screwdriver. Give it a little pressure. Pull that out. Okay, now unlike a normal 45, this would have slid forward off the barrel this way. These are a little bit different because it's built by Umarex, same as the Walther. The back end's going to lift up and you're going to slide it forward and work it off that way. Okay, now here we have a little the spring guide, which is set over there. Now at this point, this gun is now ready to be cleaned. However, I'm going to go a little bit further to show you guys something. Unlike a standard 1911, this barrel is more like the Walther P22. has the barrel nut right here. And we are actually going to take this off. Put this nut up, take the barrel nut off. Put that aside. The um, it's like a barrel housing almost thing. It just helps hold everything together. And now the barrel, which this is now the barrel, can work out backwards. And it's a little tight fit because you got to get past the ejector here. And you're going to you can work it back so you can have it completely out of the firearm. Um, and this is the barrel, and this is mainly the big difference between this 1911-22 and a standard um, 1911. The grips are for standard 1911, the mainspring housing back here, the uh, beaver tail safety, the hammer, the trigger, all those are standard 1911 parts. But it comes apart fairly easy. Okay, then we're going to use 
our jigs. Now this is the wire brush, uh, brass wire brush. We're going to screw it on. We're going to edit this down a little bit for time. Now I keep my solvent in a peanut jar. It is not peanut oil, it is this regular solvent. And I actually do this for a particular reason, but we'll go into that a little bit later. Switch it around in there. And almost everybody will clean their barrels from the chamber side. Run that through a few times. The solvent breaks down the powders that's burnt into the barrels and chamber. The wire brush scrapes it away. So, now the reason almost every gun is done from the chamber side is because, and it won't really matter on a little 22 like this, but you don't want to damage the crown, which is the very end part of the barrel here, where the bullet comes out. If you damage that, if you have a precision shooting rifle and so forth, it causes problems. Yeah, I mean, not a big problem, you know. I mean, for, for everyday shooters, it ain't gonna matter. For people who want, are shooting thousand yard shots and stuff, they need to have their gun in pristine shape. I um, have plenty of rags on hand. Now, patches. Uh, gun cleaning kits come with patches. Patches is, there's two basic types. Uh, I happen to have the cloth ones. And you can see these are pretty small. These are for your 17s and 22s and stuff. See how tiny they are? So, now actually what I'm going to do is just typical for me. Ooh, I don't to be really tough too. Okay, so we're going to go with, a, try to catch one that's kind of cut in half. Okay, this one's a little bit smaller by half the size. Basically, we're just going to put it over the chamber. Push it through. And sometimes they're tight. Oh! See all that dirt? And there's a lot more that's going to be coming out. So, push it through, put that stuff aside. Get your wire brush. Scrub it out some more. Scrub it out. Scrub it out some more. Now, like I said, this can be done with the, the barrel still in the firearm here, but um, it's just as easy taking it out. measure I'm actually going to go out and run a dryer one through. Yeah. Yeah. Basically you're going to just run, keep running this, the brush and then the patches through until it comes out clean. Now you can see that's there's still a little dirt there and I'm not anal about ever getting every little bit of grime out of my um, barrels. Um, some people are I'm not, I don't, I'm not a perfectionist when it comes to that. Wipe the excess solvents off. Okay. Now, this being a 22, not a whole lot goes wrong. I mean, you can see it's, everything's kind of sealed up here. The sears are, are, are blocked better on this one as a standard 45. So, I just kind of wipe it around a little bit. Um, the more important thing is going to be the rails. And the rails are inside of here. Let me get, try to get that. The rails is what attaches. You can just see the grooves here and over by my thumb on this side. Here and here. Uh, basically what holds the two together. Now, so this, this is a 22 and even though 22s are known to get kind of dirty, this one doesn't get that dirty. Um, and then I've shot it a lot. Now, another thing you want to do because I'm actually close to reassembling this at this point because it's just, it's not that dirty. Now I generally use rim oil to spray stuff. It's a lubricant. Um, some people like the the old style oil, which just you drip out. I like to spray stuff, so I'm going to spray a little bit in the barrel there, the chamber, and then wipe the excess out by just running another cloth through. 
You can see that cloth came up pretty clean. So there's my thing. Um, you're constantly wiping your hands with the stuff. You got oils on them, now you got solvents. So now I'm gonna kind of reassemble. Now there's no moving, nothing moves through here. I mean, there's no moving parts. So I'm not gonna worry about oiling that. It's, it's aluminum. So it's not gonna rust on you. You work your barrel back in. And again, it's a kind of a tight fit. Got to get it angled the right direction, which is usually upside down. Then rotate it around. And then slip it into place. And you can see how this slips into place just like that. Okay. Now you're going to put your barrel sleeve. Let me get that oil out of the way. The barrel sleeve, which is going to fit over. And it's going to fit in there. And then your barrel nut. Barrel nut. Put it back on. Grab a little wrench that comes with the guns. Tighten it up a little bit. But you can see it has like a U-shaped thing. And the same with the bottom dust cover of the gun. If that. So obviously you can see how it's going to fit in there. It's going to slide right down like such. It's going to fit in there. This is why I like the spray loop. If you got the rails here, you got the rails there. So you go just quick. Kind of wipe off the excess. And you see I got the, the hole right here. It's cleared. You can just make it the green out of my shirt. So I'm gonna slip the pin through. Now there's a spring on this side that you've got to push up out of the way and put the pin in. That just kind of helps hold it together. Again, this is, that's a little bit different than the standard 1911. Get the pin all put together and then you have it. Now your spring. Now you're going to want to get your, shouldn't put that in first, get your barrel bushing in first. Now I'm also going to lubricate the inside of the barrel bushing. Because that is going to rub. And on that, we're going to use the pusher. We're just going to kind of wipe the excess up. So drop in one direction, spin it around, and now the spring can go in. And then the spring cap. Push it down, all the way, rotate it around, voila. And of course it's still unloaded. Functions, locks open, snaps forward, safety on, safety on. Everything's working. Now you shouldn't dry fire rim fires, but you can lower it down to make sure your trigger's working properly. And that is pretty much it for the 22. Wipe up any excess. Now, again, because this is an aluminum frame, aluminum slide, it's not going to rust. If it was still uh, bluing, you're going to put a little oil all over it and then wipe it down with a nice uh, cloth. This is a little bit on the rough side for that, but this is all aluminum, so we don't have to worry about rust. And then we just put the magazine in and it's ready to go. That's it. All right. Thank you. And um, keep watching.